ningetaka kusoma post here from you mm-hmm. za oh, no. <laughs> okay <laughs> nothing incriminating okay and they they are, they exist in public yeah, so yeah. uko safe uko mm-hmm. safe so the first one is a video of you mm. uki play nothing by Bruno Major and <laughs> of course you had to talk to some people first mm-hmm. and address mm-hmm. important matters ukasema ini ya wale wenye na cuddle kwa hii baridi you had to touch on wounds mm. then ukasema also i have some pretty major news coming to you soon mm. along the lines of releasing music mm-hmm. officially and i am so 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 excited i'll post more about it in a few days ah i'm too excited let me just tell you i am doing an ep me my own all original music see jokes it has been a long time coming and it's finally happening onwards alafuka sunflower apo yeah and then that was that was on 26th october and then on 28th 2020 on 28th october mm-hmm. um you said intention and then below ukasema the idea to do an ep came to me more like a decision my subconscious had already made it's like me me sat in a meeting and agreed beforehand before presenting it to my conscious mind and it was then up to me to make it happen mm-hmm. so here i am moving intentionally and stepwise to make it happen based on this take us through moment here announcing mm-hmm. the ep mm-hmm. in october mm-hmm. and releasing it a few months in january mm-hmm. what were your emotional states during your time period um wow first of all he- hearing my voice back <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's it's like uh it's like reading an old uh, journal entry mm-hmm. it's like that's where that's where my thoughts were at that time and i remember feeling excited that's the first thing i think like i said the the decision to do the ep w- was was not a, it was re- it wasn't really even a decision it was like oh, i'm doing you know it wasn't it wasn't weighing of options it was just it was the only way forward so i remember feeling excited that i'm doing an ep i remember feeling clueless <laughs> that i'm doing an ep i remember feeling um uh what's the word anticipating the end result anticipating what will come out on the other side after all this process is, has gone on and it was okay because all those feelings were like compounding on each other the excitement was 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 also happening at the same time with the being clueless so just because i was excited it meant even if i'm clueless it's fine because i'm still excited mm-hmm. so it was just an, it was about now me doing the next thing what's the next step what's the next step what's the next step and i had a lot of guidance because obviously i had i don't i'd never released any music i didn't know what the step wise nini is to getting to getting there at all but i had help from a guy called rumbi i don't know if you know Yes. Rumbi Rumbi has was instrumental and has always been instrumental to a lot of steps in my music because he's the one who guided me step by step. We had a few phone calls. He told me this is what you need to do. This is what works. This is what doesn't work. These are the options and this is what you'll need to prepare yourself to do. And I remember also um in the cluelessness was also in how I'll even finance it. I was like how do I even, you know, like putting out work is it's a costly thing so part of part of that was also fi- figuring out okay so i want to do this but where are we getting the money to do this so kutafuta basically and it was an interesting adventure because i learned the skills i had learned just to pass time during the pandemic like painting and what not is what eventually funded almost like 60% of how i paid for that ep and it was again reaffirming because it means that if i stay curious if i stay learning if i stay exploring what um what my mind and my hands can do then there will always be a benefit to it and i was so happy that i was able to fund most of it just by literally selling my paintings even if it was just to friends who wanted to see me win and especially because it was to friends who wanted to see me win it was like my community is also already rooting for me so who am i not to do it when there's so many people like literally edging me on and my folks and and my sister and everything so it was a, a period where i felt so much love and so much support from the people um that i love and that care about me so 
those were the feelings that were that were going on it was like okay i have people i have i have room here i have people in the in who have been doing music for much longer than i have trying to see me win so that period was it was nice it was a nice yeah, that's, time that sounds beautiful mm. 